Hey, what's up, guys? It's my tech back again with another video, and today I'm going to be taking a look at FreeCAD 0.18, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a contour operation in Path for FreeCAD 0.18. But before we get into that, one thing I want to ask you guys to do for me is I would greatly appreciate it if you guys can like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel and any of my other videos that you happen to see on this YouTube channel. Um, and I would also greatly appreciate it if you can follow me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, check out the Amazon and eBay store and my website. Now, on to the video. So, first things first. First thing you gotta do is put your design inside of FreeCAD. So there's many different ways that you can do it. You can do it with an STL file, or you can do it with a. Uh, um, you can design your design in FreeCAD itself. For me, I do it with an STL file, and I convert it into a solid model that FreeCAD can actually use. If you want to know how to do that, I have a video in the description, and I also have a, a little video at the end that you can click on. It will take you straight there, and you can watch it. Um, but after you do that part after you put your video inside not video um, model inside of FreeCAD you want to open up the little drop down menu down here you want to go to where it says path you want to go ahead and create your job which I also have a video on so go ahead and check that out as well after you create your job all this stuff here after you fill out all, everything here where it says output setup tools all that stuff after you do all of that stuff that you put, you got all that stuff there working. Now you can go on to creating your contour operation. So you want to come up here to where it says create a contour path, contour path for a base object. So it's going to be the first one here where my mouse is. Click on that. Uh, let me align this really, really quick so that you guys can see it really good. Okay. So after you click on it this box is going to come up it's going to say contour uh, first thing you're going to see here is your depths now um, at the top you will see your start depth final depth and then your step down so um, start depth is basically where the tool is going to start um, for me I'm just going to leave it at one millimeter if you're wondering why it says one millimeter that's because the stock is one millimeter higher than the part so it will start at one millimeter, which is higher than the actual part itself. So it's starting at the top of the stock. So that's why that one millimeter is there. If you want to give it a little bit more space, you can always change this number. Um, if you're not sure about how flat your stock is, maybe that might be a good idea for you. But you know, it's up to you. Um, and then the final depth is obviously going to be zero because we want to go all the way down to the bottom. And then my step down is I'm going to change this. I don't really like it being at 3.17 millimeters. I want it to be at 0 0.2 millimeters. That's how I want my step down to be. That's how I like it. Um, now let's go down to where it says heights. Now heights is basically your clearance height and your safety height. That's basically um, the distance between the tool and the actual part that you were trying to cut. Um, so basically if you want to change that you can. Uh, I normally don't 5 millimeters for clearance and then 3 millimeters for safety is high enough for me so I normally just keep it there um, and then here you have your tool controller where all of your tools are located for me I only have one tool um, selected if you're wondering what this is this is the name of the brand of the tool that I'm using it's an end mill it's about 3 17 in um, diameter and it spins clockwise and you can always change this to counterclockwise if you want to but I'm keeping my eyes clockwise so um, extra offsets I'm not gonna put any extra offsets I really don't need any of that start point basically what this does is this will um, start the contouring operation at the origin so that's basically what this does so you click this and then it's gonna start at the origin and then if you leave it unclicked it's gonna start wherever FreeCAD wants it to start so there you go um, and then here we can just press apply and then we will see the actual um, path get generated let me let me switch this so that we can move it around and now you can see the actual path operation right there before your eyes isn't that something so yeah this is probably more of this is one of the more easier 
uh, paths to generate mainly because it does not ask for that much information one thing I want to point out really really quick there is no option in the contour um, path generator there is no option for you to select where you want the contour to be so by default it's going to be around the part so just keep that in mind so if this is the stock where the black lines are and then if this is the part it's going to be around this part it's going to cut this shape out of the stock so just keep that in mind so if that's what you want you know just go here do your contour operation to fill all this out press ok and that's going to be the contour shape that's going to be the shape that's going to cut out it's going to be the shape of the part so you know I pretty much I think that's it for this operation like I said this is one of the more simpler operations to do and uh yeah just like comment subscribe like I said at the beginning of the video do that to all my videos I'm trying to grow this channel to a thousand subscribers maybe more and uh follow me on Instagram Facebook Twitter um also check out my website also check out the uh, Amazon and the eBay page there's not that much stuff on there but I will be adding more so do all of that stuff there and I would greatly appreciate it um, that's gonna be the end of this video so yeah peace out